Hey man, what a, what a, what a great day, bro! <laughs> what a great day it is to be a CP3 fan, man! What a great day it is, you feel me? To to just be living, bro. Just to just be motherfucking my dog CP3 for the him a ring, nigga. Stop playing with him. My dog CP for the him a ring, nigga. What to do, YouTube man? What's up, Jits? Boy, see you back on video, my nigga. Back on fucking reaction. Welcome back to my fucking channel. CP3 traded to the Warriors for Jordan Poole, 2023 NBA offseason. I already know, you feel me, this, I was already, you feel me, I knew early, I knew at like 4 o'clock, it popped up on my phone, it said Wizards, it said Spurs, no, I said Spurs, it said Warriors and Wizards are are having talks about Chris Paul and Jordan Poole trade, and I was just like, what? I'm like, what? I'm looking at my phone like, what? I'm going to take my brother to work, and I'm like, I'm like, Joe, that's my brother, I'm like, Joe. They fit they fit sick Chris Paul to the to the Warriors for for Jordan. Please talk about nigga, that's fake. I said, no, nigga. This is whoa. <laughs> I said, this is ESPN. Look at this. I'm like, bro, no cap. No cap, but we talking about it though. Me and him was talking about it. If you really think about it, they did my dog pool dirty because it was one one bad playoff run, you feel me? He had one bad playoff series, you feel me? Not series, but you feel me? One, one bad playoff run. You feel me? And it, it was just a whole bunch going on with the locker room. I already knew it was a whole bunch going on with the locker room. And with the contracts, they they probably feel Jordan Poole got paid. Now he feel like he be like, I don't know, bro. Like I said, y'all know my reactions. Y'all know y'all know when I be reacting to Jordan Poole, when I be reacting to Ward. I be like, bro, Jordan Poole, pass that bitch to Curry or Clay. Damn. You be doing too much, my nigga. Just chill. Pass it to Curry or Clay, bro. So I feel like, you feel me? I ain't going to say I knew they was going to trade Jordan Poole. But I knew it was either going to be Jordan Poole or Draymond Green going. I don't think they're getting rid of Draymond. But I don't know. I don't, I, I don't necessarily think they had to trade Jordan Poole to acquire Chris Paul. Because I don't think the Wizards was going to keep Chris Paul. I think the Wizards was probably going to, you feel me, buy him out, give him a little, wave him or something like that. And then he would have been a free agent. So I feel like, you feel me, Warriors could have picked him up like that and then kept Jordan Poole. That, yeah, y'all tripping. Now y'all gotta keep Devin Chiso, cause Devin finna, you feel me? They talk about Devin a free agent. Devin might leave too, so I don't know, Warriors. It was kind of, it was kind of a, a kind of crazy trade to be honest, man. But CB3 trade to Warriors. Y'all boys tap in, man. Like, comment, subscribe, man. Do a video. Let's get to this motherfucker action, man. Let, let's let's just let's just let's just listen, bro. Chris move, turn me Another up. Another shot. Chris move, turn me up, my nickel. This time the Wizards are sending CP3. To the Golden State Warriors for Jordan Poole. Yeah, this was shocking. And also a protected first round pick, which is a top quarter ball. So basically, they're not really getting another first round. They're pick. not, bro. Their deal with Bradley Beal is now complete. They didn't really get any first round picks in that one either. They got some pick swaps, but most of those picks were second round picks. A lot of their picks were second-round picks. I'm just going to be honest, though. <laughs> I don't know if I like this trade for I, the Warriors. It, it kind of is crazy, bro. I'm just happy my dog. I, I ain't going to lie. I just wanted my dog. It's, it's a kind of crazy trade because the Warriors, what are y'all y'all losing? Y'all losing that, that, that spark off the bench, to be honest. Y'all losing that spark off the bench. And then it's like CP3 old, but it's like what he going to – not saying what he going to bring, but it's just like – now I can't say what he gonna bring, cause he gonna bring playmaking. He gonna bring, you feel me? He gonna bring IQ off the. I don't think he gonna start. He gonna come off the bench. He gonna bring IQ off the bench. But it's just like y'all that y'all losing that spark with Pool. Pool was that uh when he got Pool was that uh. You we know he's be fucking up sometimes, but he was still that uh. He had that swag. Does it make them better? I don't know. See, maybe. Hey. Maybe it does, but it's just kind of weird. It's kind of weird, they yeah. CP3 this late in his career. When you have Steph Curry as your point guard, you're going to bring him off the bench. That's, that's Maybe weird he'll do well. a little something, but Dimeski. defense is a little bit shaky <laughs> at this age. What? Not... And then what if you put Curry? What if you got Curry, CP, and Clay at the same time? Boy, that's, that's a bad. That's I don't know, y'all. That's shaky. Very tall leader. That's shaky. And it's just funny because if Jordan Poole was available for trading, why trade him for CP3? You don't think you could get somebody better? You oh, can't God. get better than CP3 for Jordan Poole? And then you could have, bro, if you wanted CP3 so bad, you could have acquired CP3 when the, when the Wizards, you feel me, bought him out or whatever they was going to do, wave him, buy him out. 
Y'all couldn't. That was, that was know, stupid. Warriors, Warriors fans, get in the comments section. What do you think about this one? Are you excited? Or are you thinking, what are we doing? Because I'm not really behind this trade. I guess I'll just have to be proven wrong. And I'll just have to watch and see. What happens. I don't think it's a good trade. Get in the comment section. Wizards fans, how are you feeling about this rebuild? My song. You know what's crazy? It's crazy because I was literally, I, I literally just seen the video of Paul George. You know how Paul George got the little podcast and everything, podcast P. But uh, I seen a, a, a clip from on his podcast. He was talking about how a lot of young players, or not even young players, players in general in the league, if they just was given the chance to be, you feel me, be a superstar, go to their own team and given a chance, that they would really be able to do it. And he and he mentioned Jordan Poole, and he said Jordan Poole. And it's crazy. Now we finna see, bro. He's not on the Warriors no more, so he's finna be getting more shots, you feel me? It's most likely it's finna, it's finna be his team, Prazing is gone. So it's, it's finna be him and Kyle Kuzma team, to be honest. So it was like, we gonna, we gonna see. We gonna see, you feel me, if his game... Because me and my brother was looking at his stats earlier. Jordan, Jordan Poole really progressed every year. I think first year he averaged like eight points. Second year he averaged like 12 or 15. No, I think it was I think it was 15. Uh, it was some, I think it was 15. Third year he averaged 18. And I think this year he averaged 20 because this is fourth year in the league. So, yeah, I ain't going to cap. He he really progressed every year. I think I think Warriors just, Warriors just know they overpay him and they pay him too fast. And so they just wanted to get his contract, you feel me, gone. I think they want to pay Draymond too, so I think that's why they really did that. But really, bro, y'all really coulda, cause you not you don't have to you don't have to pay Chris Paul a lot of money, bro. Really, y'all could y'all could have paid Chris Paul like a veteran a, a, a veteran's minimum, bro. To be honest, so I would I really would have just waited for Wizards to waive him or buy him out. You feel me? So he could have been just a, a complete free agent. And if you wanted to get him as a free agent, sign him for like a, a veteran's minimum. You feel me? Sign him for a veteran's minimum. And then you could have had CP on your as your point, pool as the two off the bench. Like that would have been way better than trading and pool and then you feel me acquiring acquiring CP3 during the trade. Like I don't know. That's just like 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 it's kind of weird. It's it's a weird trade. I don't know if the Warriors gonna keep Chris Paul if they're gonna trade him. Like I don't know what they're gonna do to be honest. It's, it's kind of it's a shaky trade. It's a weird trade, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. So it's a weird trade, man. But CP3 trade to Warriors. 2023 NBA offseason. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about the trade. Y'all let me know if y'all like it. Y'all let me know if y'all think the Warriors gonna get rid of him. Like, you feel me? Just let me know some moves. Y'all let me know how y'all think Jordan Poole gonna do in Washington. You feel me? He finally got his own team. He's gonna be able to take different shots, better shots, more shots. And we're gonna see, man. But yeah, y'all boys tap in. We're gonna be waiting for the drive to be done so I can react to the drive. I ain't trying to. I know Victor Wimyami went. I, I know Victor Wimyami, Victor Wimyami went number one. I know that for a fact. But yeah, y'all boys tap in, man. Like, comment, subscribe, man. I do a video. We out, my nigga. Peace.